Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to publish your own calendar using iCal and your web server. So back in episode 94 of MacMost Now, we talked about how to subscribe to calendars that are on the internet using iCal. But here's how to publish your own calendar. And once you publish your own calendar to a web server, then others can subscribe to it. So here we are in iCal. Now I'm going to go ahead and select the calendar I want to publish on the left, the one called Gary in this case. I'm going to go to the calendar menu and to publish. And I get this control here. I can go ahead and change the name of the calendar as it's published. And I can also choose how I'm going to publish it. Two options are Mobile Me and a private web server. Now if you do it as Mobile Me, you're pretty much done. It'll publish to your Mobile Me account and give you a web location where you can tell your friends that the calendar is published. If you choose private server, it's going to ask you to fill in a few more things. A base URL is where it's going to get all the information about the server or where to upload the file. Usually you would start it with an HTTP which would tell it to upload using WebDAV which is a protocol for communicating from computers to servers. Fortunately it's not supported by most private servers. The simpler FTP protocol is and you can go ahead and force FTP by using FTP instead of HTTP. Then also you want to enter in the server name. And also you want to enter in a complete path to where you want the file. Now in this case if I just put the server name it would put the file on the root level which nobody could access. But if I did slash public underscore HTML it will put it one level down into the web server area and people can access it from anywhere. Then you use a login and ID. I wanted to automatically publish changes to this calendar. And I wanted to do titles and notes but I don't want to do two items, alarms, attachments, things like that. I click publish. And the result is I get this message telling me where the .ics file is located. I'm going to copy and paste that. If I send mail it will include the FTP colon slash slash in it which is not what I want to tell people. I want to tell people it's an HTTP which is just the normal way of subscribing to a .ics or calendar file. So here I am in the iCal on another computer. To subscribe I'm going to go and choose calendar and subscribe. Then I have to enter in a URL. I'm going to do HTTP colon slash slash and the name of the server. Now remember when I uploaded it was FTP not HTTP. And also I had public underscore HTML to tell it I wanted to upload from the FTP side of things into the web folder. I don't need to include that here. I can go directly to the file which was Gary.ics. That's a complete URL right there. If I hit subscribe it's going to go to the server and it's going to grab the calendar. Now it gives me some options when I subscribe to a calendar. I can change its name if I want, add it my own description, and I can go ahead and automatically remove things. So for instance if I had published alarms with this calendar but the subscriber doesn't want to get those alarms I can go ahead and remove them by checking off these boxes. And I can choose auto refresh too. How often to do it, every day, week, every five minutes, that type of thing. So I'm going to automatically refresh every 15 minutes so it stays pretty fresh. Click OK and I can see it added over here in subscriptions the calendar and when I click on it I can see those items there. So now the one computer is actually going to publish all changes to that web server and this computer is going to get all those changes every 15 minutes or so. Now there are many reasons you may want to publish a calendar. For instance you may want to share a calendar with all your friends. Uh, you may also want to go ahead and create a specialized calendar. Say if you work for a PR firm and you want to create a calendar of all upcoming events for something you go ahead and create a special calendar for that. So in that case you don't want to publish your calendar. You want to build a special calendar in iCal that just has those events and just publish that one. And in that case you not only would want to tell your friends about the location of the .ics file but you may want to publish it on your website, send it out of your Twitter feed, all sorts of things like that. Publishing a calendar like this could be a great thing if you run a school classroom or an entire school or you run a local amateur sports team, something like that. You want to keep everybody informed of all the different events that are going on. You can publish your calendar in this format and then everybody can go ahead and subscribe to it and get up to date times and locations for all the different things going on. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.